Switch it up, bite in the flow, we gon' hit him up. Switch it up. Boys. Good YouTube. You already shook. It's your boy. Alright, so look. We back again with another video. Alright, so this time I, I ain't playing no games with y'all people. Alright, you already know it's GTM Entertainment. It's one third of GTM Entertainment. It's your boy Ken. We back at it with another motherfucking banger in this bitch. Alright, so look. First off, I'm gonna give y'all a quick life update. Listen, at this point, your boy's out here losing weight. I done, I done lost like probably 20 pounds in the past like week or so. Which is understandable, you know, the uh, the chin head growing in, you know, I had to uh, uh, get it all evened out and shit. It's all good. So, look. So, now since I'm here, you know what I'm saying, your boy has been... <coughs> <coughs> no, no coronavirus, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on these post notifications, follow us on all social media. The link will be down in the description. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into this video. So today, I want to talk to y'all about a little bit of story time. So I got a story to tell y'all. So like, I woke up this morning and I was just like, yo, I should drop another video. Because the last video y'all showed mad love on, you know what I'm saying? Like, I appreciate it. And I was like, yo, why not? Because at the end of the day, this is a job. So with that being said, I got a fucking story time to tell y'all motherfuckers. Alright, so look, this story time is basically a bad experience that I've been through already. And you know, it was eating yeah, some pussy. Yeah, you know, eating a, the coon coon. You know what I'm saying? I might have to blur that part out. Editor, blur it out! Alright, just blur it out, mother. Just blur it out. Alright, I'm a limit cursing, okay? I'm a limit some cursing. That's why I want thing I want to work on. I want to work on limited cursing, and I want to work on, on just. Just that, because I feel like I curse too much. Anyways, so story time is basically my bad experience of eating, whatever. So it was one day, right? So boom. So I know this person is going is going to watch this video. Nine times out of 10, this person is definitely going to watch the video. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's old. So at this point, it was like a couple years back. So anyway, so boom. So it was one time, right? It was my sophomore, no, I think it was my sophomore year of high school. Right, it was my sophomore year of high school, and it was me and my friend Mikey. Right at the time, me and my friend Mikey, Michael, we was like mad close. We was like brothers, butt buddies, all that. You could say whatever the fuck you want. Nobody wasn't telling us nothing. Nobody wasn't coming between us. Boom. So it was one time I was dating this girl, right, and she, I was like wasn't sure if I wanted to like if the link up was going to happen or whatever. But it happened. So it was one time I was walking. I'm on the phone or whatever, you know, because I was trying to call her because we just got out of class, you know what I'm saying? We did our little PSATs or whatever. So I'm feeling good. So I'm like, yo, I'm about to go, you know, get some, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever, whatever. Ah, ah. So I'm like, yo, boom. So then I call. So, you know, when you call that person and then when you realize that that person ain't picking up, you start, your heart drops and you start thinking that, oh, shit, this shit probably a dub. This shit. She want to dub my shit. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. But then when you realize that this whole time this shit was not a dub, bro, and she ended up calling you back, that's when you start feeling like the man. Like, yeah, I'm here now. Let's go. So then, boom. All right, so I'm walking. I'm talking to her or whatever. So then she like, oh, yeah, pull up. Ah, ah, da, 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 da. So then I pull up or whatever. And she live all the way in the hood in Brooklyn. So if you know where the hood is. That's like where... Like Sutter Ave, you know, if you're from Brooklyn, you if you live around like Sutter Ave and Rutland Road and all that stuff, like where the three train is, you in the hood. You in the hood. I was scared to go over there. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was pretty scared to go over there. But then at the same time, it was just like whatever. Cause at the end of the day, ain't that ain't gonna stop me from getting pussy. You feel me? It's just that. See, I don't know what make us niggas brave, but for some apparent reason. When it comes to pussy, we be brave as shit. Fuck that, nigga. I'm going to go to, to the worst part of the neighborhood to go beat them cheeks up, especially if she bad. At that time, shorty that I had was bad. Bad. Anyways, to me, she was. So, boom. Hop on a train. I'm nervous as shit. I'm like, yo, what the fuck am I going to say? What the fuck am I going to do? Da-da-da, just that. And third, 
boy, when I got there, shorty was right there by the train station. I said, oh, shit, my heart dropped. I ain't gonna lie to you. When I'm, when you interested in somebody and you got like this attention, like the tension and everything is there and it's great energy. When you first see that person, you will get nervous. If you don't get nervous, that means you wasn't interested in the person from the jump street and you need to check yourself. Or either check yourself or check that person because at the end of the day, bro, it's all about you and all about what you're comfortable with doing. Anyways, so boom. So then we walk into the crib and I, the first thing I'm thinking about is like, yo, what the fuck is going to happen, bro? Like, yo, like, how, how is this going to happen? Because at this point, I felt like I was the shit. But damn, no, I didn't have no type of sexual experience at all. Because that was like, I think that was like my second, I think she was like my second body. I think she was like my second body, 100%. She was definitely my, sec my second body. And it was just it was just crazy because it's like, yo, I just really I just really felt like I was the shit. So then we finally get to the crib, whatever. Ah, uh, we get to the crib and boom, right? We are going up the stairs. So now I'm nervous as shit because now we are going up the now we in the crib now. We in the house. You understand? So we like laying up on the couch or whatever. So I'm laying up on the couch. I'm like these, and I'm laying up on her or whatever on the couch or whatever. And she, she like I, I don't even know if I had long. I think I had like short hair or whatever. I think she was playing with my hair. Either she was playing with my hair or we were just like laying up or whatever. So I remember falling asleep to Neo. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck happened, but I remember falling asleep to Neo. So I'm like out, and then I woke up. Right. So I swear to you, not I felt like I was in a porno video. This girl came out with a, with a, uh, 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 mother, she just came out looking like, like a different species in this motherfucker. Looking good as shit. I wanted to eat that bitch alive. And I ain't gonna, I ain't mean to call her a bitch, but you ain't no bitch, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I want to eat her alive, right? So, boom. Right? So then, she like grabbed my hand. So then I'm slow. So then she grabs my hand, bring me to the room. So I'm like this. Slowly going in there, I'm like, oh, she doesn't know. I'm about to really beat her shit up. But then deep down inside, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. And it's okay because it happens. You know what I'm saying? Us niggas, they be feeling ourselves. You know, we be feeling ourselves when it comes to getting some pussy. You feel me? So, boom. Right? Never, I never, at that time, I never got my dick sucked. And I never gave head. Right? When, when I, when I got, when I got the head, Right? That shit felt like I was in a different universe. I ain't gonna lie to you. I never got it like that a day in my life. You feel me? And that shit felt amazing. Now, when I went down, that's what kind of caught me off guard. I was like, all right, so, boom. So then I'm like, <laughs> you ain't go, uh, you ain't ready for this shit. Uh, I went down. I'm not saying that her shit stink. It didn't. It didn't. It just was like, I didn't know what to fuck to do. I didn't know what to do. I was just like, mm. it was just like mad awkward for a second. Cause it's like, I never, I never ate the kum kum before. So it's like, I don't know what the fuck to do. And the reason why I call it a bad experience, because I felt like I did bad. That shit was horrible. Like I think I did bad. And I know for sure, for sure, she probably was faking the whole shit. Like, I know for a fact that I did bad. Like, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Like, that shit was crazy. And then, like, I was just like, I didn't know if I was supposed to spread it. I didn't know where I was supposed to lick at. I didn't know where I was supposed to. I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything. I don't know. It was just weird. But you know what? I did beat them cheeks up for, like, four hours straight, though. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Yo, like, it's just crazy because it's like, bro, like, it's just like, for some reason, it's just like when you when when it tends to like niggas like having sex, bro, and this niggas never had sex before, but then when it comes to getting into it, and then like the first couple of strokes, and then you realize like, yo, bro, like this shit is actually not bad as it seems. I don't know why I'm doing this shit with my hands, but at this point, this shit is helping me get my point across. So with that being said, I end up smashing for four hours, like I knew what the fuck I was doing. Her friend ended up calling. While we while I was getting it in, and she was just like, I'll call you back. And I was just like, bro, I felt like a gangster digging in her guts like that. I ain't gonna lie to you. I felt like a gangster. I felt like a gangster. 
and we were just going. Like I never, I never been in a position where you know what I'm saying. I consistently kept on going with one person for one day, like for one day. Like it could, it was just nonstop. Just I was just really just. I, it was to the point where I was sweating bullets, bro. I was sweating everywhere. I had to take a shower and all that shit. Like that shit was crazy. Like. And then, and then what made it even better? I think, I think, for what I remember, she did make. I think we did eat something, and then I had to leave and shit because you know, I had to get it because it's the hood. You know, I had to get up out of there. You feel me? I ain't trying. To, yeah, I had to get up out of here. So look, yeah, that's a fact. But yeah, but um, other than that, I mean, that was that was probably honestly, I could say, I can't say it was the worst experience as far as me. As far as Ian the coon wise, but the best experience as far as sex. Because I never was in a position to consistently keep getting it like that. It was just like after when we've done with the first one, we'll talk for a little bit, talk, 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 talk. And then we'll get back in it again. And then when we get back in it again, we'll just stop, you know what I'm saying? Of course I, you know, I'm and whatever. And then you feel me? And then it was just Talk, 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 and then get back in it again. I'm just like, bro, what the fuck? Like, it was just legit, constant, constant, constant. And I think it's your fault. I know you're going to be watching this. You know it's your fault. You know that the reason why I'm like the way I'm like now is because of you. You took my fucking soul, my virginity, my motherfucking life. Like, it was just like my whole, it was like my whole version childhood that I was supposed to have is gone. Like, gone. Like, it's done. It's over. It's a dub. Like, you fucked my shit up. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, that, I ain't gonna lie. She, 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 she fucked me. <laughs> I don't even know if that made any sense, but she, she fucked me. I didn't fuck her, bro. She fucked me, bro. And I know niggas gonna be like, yo, that shit's weird as fuck, but look. If your favorite rapper can say, oh, she fucked me, and y'all ain't gonna think that's gay, I can say that shit, bitch. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Honestly. But yeah. That 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 was one of that was one of the 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 few the the one of the greatest stories and one of the greatest moments I ever been in because somewhere in the line I was gonna I was gonna go through shit like that. It's just that I didn't know when woman was gonna happen. You feel me? So the fact that it happened, I'm glad that it happened with her in a way because it's like now it's like yo, I know what the fuck to do now. I'm not saying I'm just gonna be just slaying shit out here because I'm not doing that, but still it's like I know what to do. But because of you, yes you, you made me into the person that I am today. As far as um being a fucking beast and that, I guess. But I don't, I don't give that to everybody. Hell no. I'm too cool for that. I like vibes. I like chilling. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed that little story time. I know it's a little 13-minute video. Some short and sweet. You feel me? If y'all want more of these story times, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. Follow us on all social media. The link will be down in the description as well. You know what I'm saying? Quick 13-minute video ain't going to hurt you. You feel me? Anyways, it's Ken, GTM Entertainment, and we out of here.